Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne. For those who don't know me, my name is Suzanne. And for those who are newly joining me, thank you so much for stopping by. So I wanted to share a special video with you guys today. It is a relatively new subscription box. It is a company by the name of Tribe Beauty Box, and they are a Canadian-based subscription. However, they ship all around the world. And this is a bi-monthly subscription box, which means that you get it every other month. And there are always five products inside. So um, the price of this subscription box is $34.99. So without further ado, if subscription box interests to you, beauty products, skincare, all of that good stuff, as well as a bright and colorful eyeshadow tutorial, then stay tuned for the rest of this video. And babes, you know what it is. If you guys are not part of my family, the Glam with Suzanne family, what are you waiting for? I post at least weekly. I'm trying to do a little bit more than that um, and do bi-weekly. Um, and it'll be all fun beauty-related topics, tutorials, all that good stuff. So make sure that you smash the subscribe button and join the family, as well as give this video a thumbs up if you like beauty products, if you like subscription boxes, if you just like to hear me rant and ramble, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right into this Tribe Beauty Box unboxing. So because I don't want the intro to be too long, I'm gonna put all the specifics about Tribe Beauty Box in the description box below, but I do wanna start off by letting you guys know that this box was sent to me for review by Tribe Beauty Box, and I am so very grateful that they trusted me to be able to review this product for them. Keep in mind that my opinions are always my own. I wasn't actually asked to make this video. I'm choosing to make this video because I do love the products that came inside and I wanted to share them with you guys. So for the format of this video, what I think I will do is pull out items as I try them on so that the video won't be as long and we'll go from there. So the very first item in this month's box is Priming is Everything from The Balm Cosmetics. And this here is an eyeshadow primer. And when you open it up, it has the product right in here. And this product is supposed to make shades much more pigmented and keep your shadows a lot more longer lasting. This is supposed to be a neutral shade that everybody can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this shade to my eyelids. So right now I have nothing on my lids at all. So I'm gonna start by applying this Priming is Everything primer from The Balm. And when you dip into it, it's actually a cream primer. So I don't know if you can tell that on camera. You can see my fingertip in there. It is a cream-based product, so I think I'm just gonna apply it with my fingertips. And don't worry that it looks ashy, guys. Most primers look like this when you put the base on. It will be covered up with the eyeshadow and you really won't notice a thing. So there you go, that's what the primer looks like on my lids with no other shadows on as of yet. I'm gonna move on to the second item in the Tribe Beauty box for August. And the second item is super, super cool because you actually get a chance to customize which eyeshadow palette you'd like to choose from the Ruby May Cosmetics palette. So I was very lucky to have Tribe Beauty Box send me all three palettes to be able to show to you guys. Um, but if I had to choose, I think I would choose this one. Um, but I will go through them individually so you guys can see what the options are when you make a decision as to what you want to get. So the very first palette that I want to show you guys is the Brights palette. And these are all eight color eyeshadow palettes. When you open it up, it looks like this. And this is such a neon dream of a palette. So, so exciting. I don't really own a lot of neon palettes, so I'm always excited to be able to try this out. Um, I'm just gonna do a couple swatches for you guys to show you what the colors look like. And they are so vibrant. I'm not really going in very hard. And look at that, I already picked up some a shadow on this finger but look at how pigmented those shadows or shades are so super excited for this palette right here this is the brights palette moving on to the second option you could choose from it is the vibes palette and this palette right here is a different color scheme it has a couple more metallic shades as you can see over here and it has some transition shades as well that are matte so a very very cute palette it allows you to play with color but it's not as intensive as the neon brights palette so the third palette that you can choose from is the mood palette and the mood palette is again another eight color palette whereas this palette has a little bit more neutrals in the palette a little deeper purple where you can do a smoky sort of eye moment 
and some metallic shades below. So these are the three palettes that you can actually choose from this month if you decide to subscribe to the box. Um, I will put the cost or the value of each like one singular palette onto the screen so you know what the value of this particular item is. For the eyeshadow look today, I'm going to go in with the one that I'm most excited about. I'm going to go in with the Brights palette and create like a really neon look. So keep on watching for that. Because my eyelids are already primed, I don't really need to do very much. But because I'm working with neon shadows, I'm going to put a white concealer down as a base just so the colors pop a little bit more because I do have some pigmentation um, of my eyelids and I want the shadows to really shine through. I do this with all neon colors. So guys, keep in mind, it's going to look worse before it looks better, but have faith, I will get there soon. So I'm just going to buff this out. So now that I look officially crazy, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the Brights palette right here. I'm going to start off with a transition shade, which means the perimeter of my eye, and I'm going to use the shade right over here. It's this beautiful orange color, and it's called Hashtag LOL. The shade has buffed out really easily and beautifully, so that makes me excited for the formula of this palette. So to intensify the crease color, I'm going to go ahead with this bright neon pink into the crease, and it's called Hashtag Glam. And honestly, one single swipe and look at that color pale. So now that I have a transition shade of that orange and a little bit of pink, I think I'm going to go in with something a little crazy for today. And I think I'm going to go in with this neon green for the lid shade, which is super intense. But trust me, we'll just see what happens. Actually, don't trust me. Um, but we will see what happens. Um, and that color is the shade Goals. I'm going to go ahead and carve out the lid. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that point right there, that neon green color right here, and I'm going to place it into the inner area of my eyelid. So the next shade I'm going to put down is this vibrant blue color. It's called MOTD. And honestly, can we just for a moment appreciate how beautiful and bright and pigmented these shades are? They are absolutely a dream to blend out. They're easy to put down. For the corner, I'm going to go ahead and put the shade Iconic, which is this really pretty purple color. Just to make this whole look pop, I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX Cosmetics Vivid Brights Liner, and this is in the shade Halo. So the one thing that I will say is that whenever you're working with pigments like this, you want to make sure that you realize that there will always be fallout. I did notice that there was a little bit of fallout here, but I kind of knew that was going to happen, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that away with some setting powder. Now that my eye look is complete using the Brights palette, I'm going to go ahead and just put on some mascara and lashes and be right back to continue the unboxing. So now that my lashes are on, I'm going to move on to the third item in the box, and that is... This item right here, it is by Cargo Cosmetics, and it's actually a blush, and it is enormous by the looks of it. You get one of two shades, so I will insert a picture of the other shade onto the screen for you guys, and it comes in this pretty large tin right here, and I got the shade Key Largo, which is this super intense coral pink. So I'm going to go ahead and go super light-handed with this blush because I already know myself and I'm going to get carried away. So there you have the blush color Key Largo and it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. The one thing I'll say is that tap ever so lightly into the shade, otherwise you will have insane looking cheeks. But the shade is really pretty, it's super pigmented and this will last you a very, very long time. Because there is no highlighter in this box this month, I'm going to go ahead and put my highlighter on off camera and I'll be right back in to dig into the fourth item in the box. So now that my highlighter is on and I feel myself again, I'm going to go ahead and dig into the fourth item in the box and that is by Bella Pierre Cosmetics and this is their setting spray. So I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face using this. And the price is also on the bottom of the page there for you guys. So my one feedback on this product is that the nozzle on this spray shoots out aggressively. <laughs> and you have to 
spray this a fair enough distance away from your face otherwise you will get droplets and you'll have separation of your makeup and you really don't want that um, so I would suggest making sure that you spray this far enough away from your face that you won't get concentrated droplets onto your face otherwise it's pretty cool that we have a setting spray in this month's box on to the last item in the box which is by Cass Cosmetics and this is your Lux lip treatment and I got mine in the shade Milky Way. There are other shades as well. So what's cool about this product is that it has collagen in it and it actually makes your lips look youthful and hydrated. So if you take a look at the product, it is such a really, really cool color. Milky Way I think is the perfect name because there is like iridescent purple flecks in it and it is like a milky sort of cream like actual base so I'm interested to see what this applies like on its own. I'll do a swatch actually behind my hand here. So that is one swipe and there is like this super cool purple iridescent fleck to it and you can sheer it out so it looks like that. I think what I'm going to do for this look is I'll try it once without anything on my lips so you guys can see the true shape and I may decide to change it up a little bit for this look but let's see. So that is the shade Milky Way without any other lip product on. I think for the purposes of this look, I'm going to put this as a topper. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, put a base color down first, and then I'll put the Milky Way lip gloss over top. I'm going to take the shade by LA Splash, which was in the previous Tribe Beauty box, and this is the shade Irella. So now that I have a pink base, I'm going to go ahead and put this shade Milky Way back on to over top. So there you have a really muted pink glossy lip and this is absolutely stunning. The formula is not sticky at all and it glides on smooth. I love that there is a little bit of a base color so even on your no makeup days you get a little bit of a hint of color in there so that's super cool and the retail value is on the bottom of the screen for you guys as well. So there you guys have it for the August Tribe Beauty Box try-on. Keep in mind that you will be able to customize for one of these three palettes, like I said. And the entire value of this box is well over $100. I'm going to go ahead and put the value of the box on the screen below for you guys to check out. So all in all, in my opinion, this box was a hit. The only thing that I had a little bit of issues with was the nozzle or the spray on the Bella Pierre setting spray. I think it was just a little too intense, but I think it could be easily worked around by spraying it a fair distance away. Um, otherwise, the palettes are killer. I think that for nothing else, get it for the palettes because the palettes are so dope. This eye look didn't take a lot of work. It was super easy to blend the colors out and I loved how bright they were. And I think that's what's so unique right now for this month is that I haven't been really seeing really, really bright neon colors in subscription boxes, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the details in the description box below, including the prices, the items, and how you can subscribe if you're interested. And guys, I also have a 10% discount code with Tribe Beauty Box. I'm going to go ahead and put the discount code on the screen there for you guys. You can use it if you want. You don't have to use it, um, but it is available to you guys for 10% off of uh, your subscription box. And keep in mind, like I said before, this is a bi-monthly box. So that concludes the video guys. Leave your comments below about your thoughts about this box, about your thoughts about this look that I've created, and let me know if you subscribe to Try Beauty Box. Also let me know if you subscribe to any other subscription boxes. I'd love to hear if you guys got this box right here, which palette you selected, and let me know what your thoughts were on your box as well. If you don't follow me already on my other social media platforms, I have an Instagram. It's called Glam with Suzanne. I will put it on the screen there for you guys to follow me. I also have another um, Instagram page called Boxy Charm Sneak Peek where I do spoilers for boxes and I also do different makeup launches and beauty tutorials so I will put both my Instagram handles on the screen there for you guys and I want to thank you guys for spending your time with me and I hope to see you guys on a future video. Until next time, take care guys and all the best.